Hey everyone, it's the Pharaoh of Beer Money Finance, Pharaoh Silver here, back with the first Beer Money Review in a while. That's right, Beer Money Reviews are back after a couple months away because of life. Life happens. I try to do these things twice a month on the second and fourth Saturdays, but many times it just don't work out. And also I've been on the process of trying to revise how I do these reviews, especially the rating system. So we're going to get started with that by talking about an app known as Bling Financial or not. Because when I tried looking up Bling Financial on the Google store, um, the issue I was having was that there is no such app as Bling Financial. Instead, Bling Financial is just a series of different games, uh, nine in total, in fact, and if you know of the, I think you've noticed the review of Just Play, you remember all the different games that they had? Very similar here. So we actually do have like Ethereum Blast. We have two different kinds of Blast games. We have a Bubble Pop game. We have a Blocks game, kind of a Collapse kind of game. Uh, food Fight, which is just uh, the ones where you're kind of just throwing uh, swords out there. There's a Solitaire game, Sudoku game, a Candy Crush clone, and a Wordscapes clone. So they have nine games total, and how these apps tend to work is that you earn Bitcoin or Ethereum through a, their own currency called coins, and then they transfer those coins into creating uh, the crypto for you to cash out to usually Coinbase or PayPal if you want fiat. So I'm actually going to show you a couple of those games right now uh, and show you how this uh, Bling Financial works. Okay, so I feel like the best way to explain one of these games is to actually play them because there's nine of them. I'm going to go ahead and go through just a few of them. So I'm going to start right here with Bitcoin Blast or actually Ethereum Blast. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and play one of these and I'm going to play the ad. So I will pause for the ad. Okay, the ad is done and I'm going to show one of these. So you see up there on the top, you saw there was a next reward option here and that shows you the next reward how much you're going to make and this is regardless of whether or not you complete the level or not successfully so let me go ahead and get through the level here so i will do this one uh you need a blue okay there's a blue that i'm gonna take this out uh, I might have made a mistake here, but again, I, I think this is the first time I played this level. Uh, this is Mission 99, level 99, so it's a it's a long one. And I'm just trying to get through this as fast as possible so I can show you what the rest of it looks like from here. Okay, so once a mission has failed, you will see here that the uh, party hats here will decrease by one that shows you how many more uh, attempts you have eligible for this app for the day that will earn you points uh, after your first game you will get to claim five of these chilies which i'm going to do here and based on how many and these are what they call bling i believe they're called um chill i don't know chili points something like that they call it heat once you've hit 80 heat, you will get a 10% bonus for all of your levels. Uh, you'll get a 25% bonus, I believe, when you hit 150. 350 will get you 50%, and 550 will get you 100%. Now, if you miss a day for whatever reason, and it goes from midnight to midnight UTC, uh, you lose 10 heat. And as I said, you can get up to 30 heat a day. You get 5 heat for playing your first game. You get 10 heat for playing 5 games. And you get 15 heat for playing 10 games. Now this is five, 1, 5, and 10 games total throughout all 9 games. So let me switch to another game here and show you what I mean. So I'm going to go to a Bitcoin food fight now. And here's Bitcoin Food Fight, and this is just another of their games. Again, one of their clones that you can earn a little bit of money on. And I'm going to press the ad, so just give me a moment. All right, and it looks like this is going to be for 975 coins. And I'm just going to fire away here, so... And there we go. Um, now, uh, there are a couple ones like the Words game, the Wordscapes game, and this game where... You have to actually play five levels in order to uh, get your coins. 
Um, this one is continuous, so that's fine, but the Wordscapes game especially has a bit of a problem with that. Okay, let's see if we can get the... Okay, and you see there the second game has been counted. Uh, they show me my current score, um, and I get my 975 coins, which has been added here for a total of 2,060. And yes, it counts as one just for this app. Now, you get to play up to 20 games per app, so that is 9 games for a total of 180 games a day to earn as many coins as you can. Now, one issue that I have with Bling Financial in general is kind of how low their conversions are. I'll show you what I mean. So with the complete here, um, this was for 35,000 coins earlier, and I got 808 uh, the Satoshi equivalent of Ethereum, which I believe is G-Way. I could be wrong on that one. G-Way. Um, yeah, so 808 G-Way, which amounted to like two and a half cents. So like for 30,000 coins, and you see here, I have 2,000 after uh, two games. Oh, they even show you the value here. This is the equivalent of three Satoshi. So you can kind of get an idea that it's roughly, I'd say, 700 to 800 coins equals a single Satoshi. And then they will convert it to the proper Ethereum for you as well. If you decide to choose Ethereum, you're allowed to cash out every seven days. I have cashed out a few days ago. I haven't played this in a while. I've been working on other things. But you can see that uh, I started, okay, the 14th. So it's about six days. So every uh, every six days, you can actually cash out another uh, cash out if you so wished. Um, but like I said, with this many bling points, you're not really making that much money. And that's been one thing I'm a little bit kind of concerned about is like, you're not making a lot with this game. Like, okay, if you might be making quite a bit if you played 180 games a day, but how long would it take you to get through 180 games a day? Like it took me, even if it took me a minute, that's like three hours and that's not even counting the ads, which then by themselves, they're going to be another minute off your life. So if you combine like a minute for a game and a minute for an ad and you're talking 180 times, that's six hours a day and you're making like, what, not even a dollar a day in crypto? Like, yeah, I, I just don't see much use in doing that, in my opinion. So that's that's kind of part of the reason why, even though I do like the way they design these games, I do like this system, I do like that they have easy cash out to PayPal or Coinbase or whatever you want, I have to give it a do not recommend, but that's because uh, mainly because of the value of it. So you could do a lot more with other places as well. Um, Ember Fund has much better value and bang for your time. Uh, just working on that, getting the Bitcoin there. Um, Coinbase usually has kind of some some kind of learning module once or twice a month where you can earn more than if you had spent that, you know in like a few minutes than you would for like hours playing bling. I mean, it's fine if you want to get Ethereum, especially because there aren't too many like legitimate ways to get Ethereum that use these beer money apps out there that, you know, that are out there anymore anyway. But overall, I feel like as far as like time wasters are concerned, if you're wanting to get paid for wasting time and playing games, I would go with something a little more along the lines of just play to be real with you, because I think Just Play, there's been a lot of people making more money off of that, and and I'm not even a big fan of Just Play. I haven't been able to make that much off of it, but I know people that have, you know, if you're going to play for six hours on end, you might as well you know, get yourself some good money off of it. So, yeah, I would recommend that. So, yeah, I'm going to make it a do not recommend, or, you know, even like Ember Fund, if you are really interested in crypto, Ember Fund, or use Coin to Apply for some of their offers that they might have because they have some games that are worth a lot of coins that they can trade in for a decent amount of crypto. Uh, just just food for thought there, basically. So yes, yeah, so I do not recommend. So that is the video, everybody. Um, that's Bling Financial. Again, if you want to take a look at it, even though I gave it a do not recommend, I am going to leave a link to their website if you want to go check it out because it's not necessarily something that I feel like is shady or anything. There's just no real bang for your buck here. That's all. But that doesn't necessarily mean that you might not like it. So 
You can go check it out. Go check out the nine games. See which one's your favorite. Let me know which one's your favorite. My favorite is actually Ethereum Blast um, of of the bunch. Yeah, it's got that cute little space theme going here for it, and I kind of like that. And yeah, I know it's very similar to Bitcoin Blast, but I don't know. I, I just kind of like the vibe a little better for it. So if you like this video, please do give it a like. Don't forget to subscribe to Beer Money Engine. And my plan is going forward that we're going to have Beer Money reviews on the second and fourth Saturday of every month, except for this month where I'm going to be doing the third and fifth Saturdays. So with that being said, I am Pharaoh Silver, the Pharaoh Beer Money Finance, signing off. Goodbye, everybody.